Uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> That was awesome, yeah. Obviously, a uh, guy that I watched growing up and um, admired his game and obviously uh, tried to take as much as I could from, from his game and mine. And um, Seeing him out there talking to him for a few minutes was, uh, was definitely an awesome experience. Pretty impressed when he broke 100 with the wood stick? Yeah, you know what? I asked him if I could use his wood stick to see if I could do it too, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was just, yeah, it was a special night. I think a lot of those, uh, the old blues, it was cool. Uh, I watched a lot of those guys growing up, played against a couple of them, and uh, it was definitely a, a cool game. What's the last time you actually shot with a wood stick? Uh, no, well, like one of my sticks. I did, I did something in the summer a couple of years ago. I tried some old, I uh, uh, did a thing for National Geographic or something, used some wood sticks, and uh, pretty, much, pretty much blew them all up. But uh, last, I guess, before my first year of uh, junior B, so when I was 16, I was still using this. When you're thinking of the last one, people was always a freshman, you show a little bit of what Carlson did just before Yeah, I think even leading up to it, you know, the expectations, obviously, everyone's expecting you to do well, possibly, you know, get higher than before and whatever, so definitely a little bit of nerves to go with it. And like you said, as they kept shooting, the scores just kept getting higher and higher. And I was hoping that it wouldn't be as high just to feel more comfortable, but it uh, definitely worked out. Are you impressed with the Elias Peterson? Is that the biggest guy in the ice? Or you can shoot the puck? Yeah, I, I asked him before and he said he just got below 100. So obviously, I, you know, you know he can shoot it, but uh, it's never really, uh, it's, it's such a different, uh, way of shooting the puck for most guys, you know, nobody really walks into it for that far, so you don't know, uh, guys don't practice that, so it's hard to, to really replicate that. I don't want to say it's a loss, but I've seen fewer, fewer slap shots, resulting goals, and once he seems to want to get it off the quicker and use the wood in your sticks, that's kind of, you know, is it becoming sort of a loss? Oh, uh, for sure, yeah, for sure, I think, like you said, everything's quicker now, the speed of guys, the quickness of guys, and, um, a lot of guys, yeah, they tinker with their sticks more, the curves, the lies, and um, obviously the flex as well. But uh, I'm a guy that's always liked what, you know, I don't like to change. When I find something I like, I don't like to change, so just keep it, uh, keep it safe. Talking about the fans here tonight, it's exciting for them to see you guys playing in this, in this you know, fun spirit competition. Let's talk about, you know, this is also for the fans. Yeah, of course. Obviously, without the fans, we wouldn't be here. So it's uh, a great experience for all of us. We don't take it for granted. It's uh, something that we cherish, and obviously having them... Uh, you know, whether they're booing uh, Patrick Kane or cheering for their home uh, for their home guys, it's uh, it's a fun atmosphere. Yeah, I just talked to Al a couple minutes ago. He said he met you out in Los Angeles a couple years ago. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I met him for sure. Yeah, I was uh, definitely kind of uh, not taken back, but like I said, I was he was a guy that I watched growing up, and obviously his shot and his style of play was uh, was awesome to watch and to actually meet him. You know, he was a uh, to me. A lot of those guys that were stars and I looked up to it was pretty uh, pretty surreal to, to get a chance to meet. Is he, is he kind of a, just a model guy when you guys were young and growing up? Or yeah, for sure. For you know, he was a guy. Obviously, anyone that wanted to shoot wanted to shoot hard like him. Or obviously, Al, I'm afraid he was ripping it back then too. But I think his game and um, some other you know. For, for us young kids, some other defensemen that uh, we may have looked up to, he was definitely one of them. With the women's game, did you get to see it? I know you guys were uh, yeah, uh, not complete yeah. end to end, uh, from start to finish, but I caught some of it, and it was uh, it was exciting. It was up and down the ice, and uh, obviously the score wasn't really indicative of all the chances. I think uh, um, you know there wasn't a lot of downtime. Like I said, it was just back back and forth, no matter what they were going for. Like to see the, the NHL giving them this platform to try to yeah try for to sure their game. yeah it was great yeah, it was uh, yeah good good um, for them to be involved it was a lot of fun I think everyone enjoyed watching the game and uh, having them out there doing the, the shooting center thing as well.